What's up you guys, this is Space Grip the Knight, here to bring you more from the future. The future of Robocraft's ongoing saga of updates are prevailing as Free Jam Blueprints Phase 2 to the maximum. Free Jam has released tons of details with the state of the game's plans and the Reddit AMA with Mark Simmons, aka the CEO of Free Jam. So why is the future of Robocraft bright and what can we expect to come to Robocraft? Keep in mind that all updates are not specific, meaning that some may come out in a later date than what I am telling you. All informational links used in this video can be found in the description down below. Before we get too far, let's talk about the current state of Robocraft, which is confusing. Why are new weapons and modules geared only towards high level players? Why are cubes condensed to one tier while there are a variety of the same weapons for different tiers? These are all questions that have been brought upon many, many times, but it is all part of one process. This process is known as tier flattening. A lot of these updates will be coming within the near future, but are very unclear to what will be coming first. Therefore, I will be listing eight major updates that you can expect to come to Robocraft. Number one, a new weapon will be added within the next two to three weeks from now. You can expect this weapon to be primarily focused on close quarter combats. This weapon will be a perfect counter for Aeroflax and Lock-On Missile Launchers. Number 2. The reworks on all tier weapons aka tier flattening. If you watched the first Future of Robocraft video, you will have a better idea of what I am talking about. All weapons that are a part of a tier system such as SMG, Plasma, Rails, Nanos, and Teslas are all going to be reworked and condensed. This will reduce the inventory space and will allow Free Jam to add way more complex parts. If you were here for the full Spectrum Combat update, imagine the cubes being weapons, except these weapons will be introducing new features and surprises. Lastly, all movement parts as well will be part of the tier flattening process since they are still part of the tier system. This will allow Free Jam to add more movement parts as well. Electroplates are a whole different story. It is possible to have a module for the electroplates, but it is very unclear, very uncertain. It's more of a blue sky project if you ask Mark. He, he, knows, he knows what I'm talking about. Number three. The removal of robot ranking. This is a keystone to determining tiers, but without this, how will Robocraft determine matchmaking? This will all be calculated by CPU. With this in hand, this will allow faster matchmaking, but there is more. There will even be geolocations, which means that you will be able to choose your locations that you so desire. An example would be like Rocket League, where you can choose to play in the US, EU, and more. It is uncertain that multiple locations can be selected, but there are possibilities. Number 4. The tech tree will be removed and replaced with a new progression system. This feature is still in the dark as to what is to come, but we can expect great things and new challenges with a new progression type. You can expect your first battle to include a variety of weapons. You are no longer restricted to using plasmas or an SMG when you start at level 1. Multiple weapons will be available for purchase and will allow you to play any style you so desire. Number 5. Tutorials will be post phase 2, meaning this will be added during the finalizations of phase 2. With all parts of the game being solid and steady, this will allow Free Jam to focus hard on introducing new players via tutorial. Remember that this is still an alpha game and you may think 3 years and still no tutorial, right? That there's a problem there, right? To be honest, the game actually restarted with the full Spectrum Combat update. The engineering of the game itself has been re-scripted so many of the features that were added are being removed and many old features are being reworked. So, you want to learn a secret? Well, what if I told you you can expect the beta of Robocraft to be coming upon completion of Phase 2? 
I won't give you an answer to like specific dates because remember like I don't work for Free Jam and they would like try to prove me wrong by watching this video. But anyways, Free Jam is becoming a new Free Jam with more employees and tricks underneath their sleeves. Number 6, Racing Mode. There has been a lot of hype behind racing thanks to one picture on Twitter. This picture was posted by D.I.O. The Creative. This image sparked the light for a lot of players in the community and probably has hyped Free Jam even more. It is possible for it to come out this year, but I won't guarantee it. I actually wanted to put it in the list because I know for a fact that a lot of people are going to question whether or not Free Jam is willing to do it. Free Jam is very determined into providing more game modes, but we'll see how the process works out. Number 7. Clans You will be able to create and join clans. Creating clans are completely free. You will not have to pay a dime to create one or to even join one. For a fact, you can expect features such as clan tags, clan chat, and even clan ranking where you can set members as officers or lieutenants or even to check if your clan members are online. This would also mean that the platoon system along with the social tab will need a big change to implement clans in the way that Free Jam envisions it. This feature will be spreaded throughout multiple updates since there are a lot of adjustments for this feature. Clan matches are also another idea that are further down in the pipeline, but it will be there. Number 8, a new map. This map will be released sometime this year, no specific dates though. It is uncertain to what type of map we're gonna get, will it be the lava map that has been held so long in Free Jam's mind, or will it be another snow map? Guess we'll have to wait and find out. Now that you heard all 8 listings of major updates that will be coming to Robocraft, let's check out some minor updates that will make a big difference throughout the year. Here are some minor updates coming to Robocraft. Commas will be added. You can rest easy now. You will now be able to find out how many million RP you have or even GC if you got like a million GC you can donate it like right now. Strafing to all movement types. Update wheel and caterpillar tracks with gripping the terrain. Along with some physics overhaul. More stability added to wings. New cubes will be added. Reconnection feature. This feature will not come out anytime soon. This feature will allow you to reconnect back into a game that you disconnected from. Two times daily bonus will be fixed rest easy now party mode which will be far into the future i'm guessing this is actually private matches that you can set up with a group of friends to battle each other localizations with different languages more support items flares to deflect lock on missiles more detailed stats on items in your inventory and in the shop hub which has been pushed back a little further than usual now let's list some possibilities. These features are mentioned by Free Jam but always have a chance of being changed into other ideas. Meltdown Game Mode. This is a game mode that was mentioned by Mark Simmons which is a match of domination but with a twist. Dragon Wings as a movement item. Gifting system, which means you can actually gift someone your bot. Robot loadout. This is a blue sky project as Free Jam is uncertain if they want to implement this feature. So, you're probably wondering, like, Space, why didn't you mention anything about the removal of Megabots? Well, this video is already pretty long, and the removal of Megabots is a big topic, so I shall leave that for the CPU update video. So, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what are you hyped for. Lastly, be sure to follow me on Twitter at SpaceCryptonite to be a part of some fancy polls that have added some fun features to some of the recent videos. That's probably the reason why you see like cookies throughout the video. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your robo needs. And until next time, this is Space Grip that night, logging out. I will catch you guys later.